Hey, how's it going guys? This is Paradox here. Welcome to my tutorial on how to speed up your Windows 7 PC. Alright, first, if you are using a laptop, you're going to have a little battery symbol down here. You can just right click it on and then click on power options. But if you are using a PC, what you're going to want to do is, hold on, let me load so I can exit out of this. You're going to want to go to start, control panel, and then go to power options. I'll just search it up here. And then click choose a power plan. I have no idea honestly what that is. Something uh, that Game Booster installed or something. But you're going to want to click on high performance. It will use up more energy, as it says there, but your computer will run a lot faster. So once you've done that, just exit out of that. Right click on the desktop. Go to personal personalization. Just wait for that to load up. And you can disable your screensaver if you choose to. And sounds. You don't really need all the sounds to turn on. Um, it won't turn off your system sounds. Like if you're playing a game, you'll still be able to hear that. So I just put on go to sound scheme and then go to no sounds. Click OK. Apply and OK. And also you can change your desktop background to nothing, just a solid color. That helps a lot. But... I don't recommend it because personally I like it like this and it doesn't look like too old of a computer. Second, go to computer, right click on that, and go to properties. After that loads, go to advanced system settings and then under performance, go to settings. Once you're there, click on adjust for best performance and it'll make your computer look like this. Now, personally, I don't like this. It does speed up your computer a lot, but what I prefer is go to custom and then go click the bottom two. Now, as you can see, right here it'll change this box. This looks a lot better now. The only difference is it's not uh, transparent, but you know, you can deal with that. That's not that big of a deal. So just exit out of that then apply click OK and then next go to start type in MS config and click on that now what you're gonna do is go to services and just unclick all the stuff that um, you don't really need and that's almost everything here unless it's like the brand of com your computer mine is Toshiba so I don't want to have those um, checked unchecked sorry so keep those because some of those pro uh, programs are necessary for startup but stuff like game tracker iTunes QuickTime like everything here that I've disabled you don't really need on startup it won't show it on the bottom that it's on startup but it's actually running in the background which is slowing down your computer so you're just gonna want to disable them click apply and then OK and you may need to restart your computer you can do that or you could just click not now. Next, open up your internet browser. Wait for this to open. And then just click on the link that I have below. You don't have to open up your internet browser because hopefully it's probably open already if you're watching this video. And then just download CC Cleaner. It's a free site, it's a free program, sorry. And I'll show you what it looks like right here. And it's 100% virus free, so you don't have to worry about getting any viruses. So you just want to download that. And then once that's done downloading, you just open it up. Here, let me exit out of this. And you're going to want to check almost everything here. You can just look at my screen to see what you want to have checked. Now, histories, you can check to delete it. I prefer to keep it just in case I want to get back to... Uh, a video or a website. So here it is. Now some of the stuff like wipe free space you can uh, get rid of that. I'm actually going to do that. And uh, then go to applications once you're done all that. And then click all these.
Now we'll go back to Windows in a second. Hold on. Just in case you didn't get this again, I'll go up. All right, and then Windows again. All right. And when you're done that, just click Run Cleaner. I'm going to uncheck that because it does take a while for that to happen. And once that's done, it'll show you how much gig it's removed. It didn't, not gig, but megabytes or how much space it's uh, cleaned. For me, it was really small because I just did this like five seconds ago, but it shows actually how much space can add up in a few minutes. So just exit out of that. Now, finally, if you're a big gamer, you're going to want to download Game Booster. I will also leave that link in the description. And it's also 100% virus free, so you don't have to worry anything about that. I'm going to open that up. And I'll, don't worry, I'll put a link as I said before. So basically what this does is this speeds up or like disables all unnecessary programs in the background while you're playing a game here. I'll, uh, I'll show you what it does here. Start the boost. And as you can see, it's loading. And it says performance before and then performance after. It's 42% better. That's pretty good, I'd say. So this will help you if you're recording FPS, because it does drop a lot when you're recording. I usually have mine at 60, and it can go down to 20. With Game Booster, it helps me get up to 50 FPS while recording. And it helps even with the desktop. Like right now, I think I have 120 FPS right now. So that's pretty good. Before I had about 60. So this actually helped a lot. So if this helped you guys out at all, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I did put a lot of work in making this video. So I hope it helped you guys out. And thanks. See you next time.